Hello. Last time. We managed to make it to Freeside. Today we will assist the kings in their quest. Looking around, we spot the two children we bang, 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 bang. talked to yet yesterday. And looking at the two corpses of the thugs who attempted to mug us, we realize Rigamortis is cutting in, is setting in. Especially on this fellow over here. Pulling out a 44 Magnum, which makes it mysterious. Guitar rig. We fire off six rounds, as I have so many 44 Magnum caliber rounds. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. The, the child on the corner is mentioning Mick and Ralph's. We already got his primary service, the false passport, which we need to get in. Further south to the strip. We head into the King's School of Impersonation to meet with the King of Impersonators. What do Pacer. we have here? Another petitioner for the King? Yes, I'd like to see the King. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? We patch a we pass a speech tag to say we want to pay respect. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king is the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. We decided to get a close-up of him using our free cam. Appears to be a dog of some kind behind him. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you, you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yes. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fella named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. The king gives us 200 caps. We check our perception, as this quest relies heavily on it. Not realizing that I already have eight. I also check to make sure I have three cases of Mentats, which will increase our perception by two. Make it mine. Ten. We head out and toward the south. If it or can north. be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. If it can be bought, well, we it will can find be found a at Jump atop a burnt out Corvega. Someone really needs to clean the street.
Can we fight an Oris? If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. How much for your service? 200 taps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Horace takes off at a full speed run. Well, I'll start. We do manage to keep a pretty good pace behind him. The followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. He points out the old Mormon church. We'll explore that in tomorrow's video. Or in Wednesdays. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Of course, he points out the Atomic Wrangler, which we will go to during our series on gambling in Fallout hey, New Vegas. Out. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. He points out the three guys we see up ahead and tells us to take a different route. So we do. Heading down this dark and alley. I almost hear banjos in the distance. We take a minute to add some, bringing our perception up to 10. And he takes off at a full speed sprint. You sing bold, be damned. Gotcha. Gotcha get with us, huh? He fires three shots, yet we find four Nothing corpses. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Hey, you only fired three shots and there are four guys. That, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Bullshit. You faked it all to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. After you. Having caught him in his lie. I'm now a little peeved, so I decided to execute his friends for real. Of course I saved first. Good karma is important. Okay, that's Veronica's with us, so this fight becomes a million times easier. Good job, Veronica. We loot Oris and find 44 or 4570 gov ammo as well as a hunting revolver. Now I have procured quite a few different revolvers, including my mysterious 44 Magnum, my Ranger Sequoia. And now this hunting revolver. I will show you. You've already seen the differences and how good the 44 Magnum is. So I'll show you the rain, the hunting revolver first. This is probably the first time you will encounter this gun. It comes with a scope and is in piss poor condition. As you can see. Slow rate of fire, but that's pretty good damage. Here we have our Ranger Sequoia. Again, poor rate of fire, but it is the best revolver in Fallout New Vegas. I much prefer my 44 Magnum, though. Faster, faster firing speed and reload speed is a better trade off. We head in to go tell the king that we have killed Oris and his thugs. He's not appearing to be in a stage. Where could he be? We head out 
and through the school, up some stairs toward the east. Continuing to head southeast, we find yet another flight of stairs. Heading up it, we find ourselves on the third floor, rich bastard. Hi. And oh, we interrupted some fun time. Not a king. Does the king know you're up here? Oh, I don't know. I'll see you later. Have we planned ship poker? What do you have for me? Or it shouldn't be a problem. Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. We'll tackle this quest tomorrow, or Wednesday. Good. In the meantime, I have put out a video on Sunday about raising money for Special Olympics of North Carolina. We will be doing live stream tonight to begin fundraising. And we will be doing a stream every day this week. Actually, we'll be doing a live stream every single day until we hit the $1,000 goal, which is the minimum to do over the edge. Hi. Our goal after that is to continue the hunt, or is to continue raising money for Special Olympics of North Carolina. After we hit $1,000, our next goal will be $2,000. Once up? we hit that, we will no longer be streaming for just 30, to 30 minutes to an hour. We will also be not streaming every day. We will be streaming every other day. The other thing that is important to note is that this is all for Special Olympics of North Carolina. For those of you that donate, I request that you send me a screenshot of your donation confirmation to my Twitter, and you will be invited to a special chair, to a special stream after we're done with fundraising, where you guys will get a chance to be in an exclusive group. We're raising money for Special Olympics. These are this is an important thing. Toward for me and for hundreds of other people, well over hundreds. I think it's time we actually use our platform to help others instead of just helping ourselves. I would love to see other YouTubers take a focus in this and help out their local Special Olympics charities. I will be doing this every chance I get. And I hope to see you guys at the streams, and I hope you guys are willing to donate. It's a very important charity, and, well, I mean, you'd have to be heartless to not want to donate. 